right here is my full review of JB Sorcery. This is their version 2.1, I believe. Let's go into settings. And yes, JB Sorcery version 2.1, based on Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. So far, I want to love this ROM because of all the customizations. I did a clean install, um, as you see in my install video. But there's so much lag. I don't have that lag on other ROMs, but I want to love this ROM because if you notice, I got the custom keys down there, kind of like AOKP with the background image and stuff like that. But let's go back into settings real quick. And I'll just show you guys. This is the JB Control Center. It may look familiar, it may look like AOKP's ROM control. If you go into battery, you have battery icon stop. You see how I have a little Android? It's pretty cool. So I have to turn on battery mods. That's how you download from the tools. I'll get to that in a minute. Let's go back. You have the clock. And clock style, AM, PM, current weekday, and the color. I'm just going to kind of go through these because you've seen them before. You can disable boot animation, show notification count, enable volume panel. Wow. This is a big thing for me. I love the 180 degrees rotation because, of course, this phone has the on screen buttons. So, I mean, you can, I mean, it's perfect. And then I have Brandon's Nexus as my custom carrier label. The navigation bar, I still have the stock three. I haven't actually really, I usually put the menu button down there, but I didn't this time. I think it just looks clean like that. Now, the toggles, you can. You know how you have the enabled toggles, you can choose the toggle style, stuff like that. Indicators, color, those are the toggles. I also had the brightness control right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Maybe you can see it. it's a little circle. Let's go back. Let's go to lock. This is the first one that has all the AOKP features with the lock screen targets. It may be in the new... I haven't really used the AOKP nightly builds that they've been putting out. I probably should, but you can see with the mods, I've changed a little lock screen. I changed the color to blue to match my theme. But I have Twitter, which is I have Plume, and I have Pandora. You can have up to eight. One thing, the lock, it's so slow and sluggish. When I hit the power button, it takes sometimes up to 10 seconds to unlock my uh, phone. I just hit power button. Well, that time, it, I mean, some sometimes it works just fine, but others, like you're just waiting on it, and you just you just want to punch somebody. <laughs> nah, not really. Sorry, don't don't punch somebody because your phone's not un unlocking. But I was in school. And I was trying to text in school. <laughs> my phone wouldn't unlock. After hitting the power button like 10 times, I had to pull the battery. I need, you, you know the back on this, right? It makes that loud noise when you try to peel it off. Then trying to put it back on, it's just, oh, uh, yeah. Then that drained like 30% in like 10 minutes because I guess it was, I don't know. You have the lock screen weather though, and also you can change the LED colors. I haven't really messed with that. It should work. You see that lag though? How long it took to go back? It shouldn't take that long. JB Sorcery Info, their news, bug and enhancements, website, Team Sorcery Forum, stuff like that. This is the main part of this ROM. This is the biggest part. Install custom themed apps. So if you go to this, let's tap on it. You can install custom dialers. So if you want gold, it's loading up see if you want gold that's it's just as simple as in hitting install the pull down wallpaper that's that the app wall you can choose a wallpaper behind your apps so instead of just your notification pull down you can also have backgrounds behind your apps like messaging people I mean it's it's awesome you can change the weather icons so if you don't like the stock weather let me show you guys on the lock screen stock weather which is I believe the AOKP weather that was under featured let's go under icons see under icons I have the custom Andy 
I got the blue version. We have the circle battery. Here's the ambi battery by Revere. Little Android guy. You know, because it's little Android guy. Yeah, you have to have the Android guy. And then you have all these different colors. You got green, you got orange. So, I mean, it matches your theme. Any theme that you have, that'll match. Um, soft keys. Say so you, you don't like the default ones. I don't have an issue with them, but it's as simple as just looking at them and then hitting OK to install them. Say so you want these. You want these ones. It's just simple. Say so you want this one. PlayStation key. I mean, you just hit install and it's it downloads and it install like that is just simple. And status bar, you can change the icons up there. So if you don't like the stock, you can go to this one and it changes them to like red. Make sure you have a red theme. Gold kind of. It's got an LTE like where it changes your H because this is HSPA plus because it's got the GSM version. You can change it where it says 4G LTE. Just so so many customizations. Let's go under miscellaneous. This this is basically everything else. Let's go back. Like the the weather icons, they're also featured on the featured list, but they're also under icons. The mods, the glow dots, how I have them under blue. I think it was called cyan actually. No, it was blue. No, yeah, see. You can just just hit OK and it changes the color. You want rainbow. It doesn't look rainbow. If you want a little triangle diamond thing. You you want to change the lock screen circle, how I had like the Nexus logo in mine. You can change it to that one. You want that one. You want that one. It's just so many different I mean, I'm trying to find my Nexus one. They have all the NFL teams, by the way. I mean, that's, that's just a few. As you've seen, there's a long list. You can change your boot animation from here. So say you want... I recommend going to, like, the, the few HD ones. But say you want... The ICS stock boot animation. Just click on it. It loads it up. It looks kind of slow and sluggish here, but it's not on the actual startup. You have all of these. All these boot animations. All of those. Now, for fonts, you can also change your custom fonts here. Any fonts that you want. Let's go back. Kernels. I did install the Franco kernel. You can see right here. I didn't get it off. I got it from his website because it was a little bit more updated. But... You can change the pull-down wallpaper and the app wallpaper uh, under mods as well. You have app manager, extra apps, push notifications, mods. You can download extra mods, ROM updates, My UI Root Explorer. You have the theme manager here as well. See, it's that lag right there. It should it just shouldn't take that long because I I know other ROMs that don't like the loading on that part. I understand, but. happened let's see this is the type of I don't, I don't even know what just happened you can download themes there but see the features are just awesome but there's that lag I was using the stock kernel that came with this as well and it had the same amount I overclocked this to 1.8 gigahertz Within five minutes, my battery went down to 60%. So, kind of went back down to 1.2. But, under tweaks, well, under tools first, you got dev, overclock, spare, terminal emulator, testing menu, wireless ADB, stuff like that. Let's go over. You can block ads, you can clean your cache, fix permissions, VM heap size, white battery stats, zip align all your APKs or applications, Build prompt, kernel tweaks, just so like so many different customizations. But see, going just going back to settings. Let's go home. And see, like the home menu shouldn't be out of memory. 
I should, I mean, it's, I should have enough free memory where it doesn't see the amount of lag. I mean, I really want to like this ROM because as you see, the customizations are just so much. Playing a game on this was, oh my god, I wanted to cry. Um, loading up the app tray. The camera on this, the camera did fairly well. Not really as good as a few others, but I mean, it, it gets it gets the job done. Let's go. Let's open up camera. It's on recording, actually. Let's just go to camera. You see, you take a picture. Wait for it to focus. See, this is a picture that I took. This is at whoa, Subway. I got my Nexus 7 today, actually. You see, the quality is really good. You can't really see it in the camera, but the quality is just excellent. But then showing a whole bunch of hunters, I'll probably get shot from a month. Um, let's go back and see. It has to load the after again. Why? I don't. I don't understand this. But as you see, it's got a lot of. I did clean install. I wiped everything to install this so it's not that I didn't wipe anything because I mean I understand if you're having issues because you just wipe cash and you just upgrade or update your ROM but I did a clean install and it's still the yeah wait for the lock screen see that's how long it took too long and then it's just still not loaded but with all these sorcery tools I really hope that they make that tools app available for other ROMs instead of just theirs because I mean it is an actual app sorcery tools let's see right there sorcery tools so I mean it, it's an actual app and you click on it, it goes to all these tool, tools that I just showed you in the settings. I tried to back it up with Titanium Backup when I had their other ROM, version 1.0, I believe it was, a little bit back. And I tried to reinstall it on uh, Jelly Bro CM10. Didn't like that idea. It popped up with an error saying, you must be on Sorcery ROM or something like that. And... But, um... I know it was kind of bad review. I hate being so harsh on this ROM, but I mean, I I want it to work. I'm not trying to diss the devs or anything, but version 1.0 it was great. I mean, it was it was well. I mean, it wasn't great, great, but I love the tools, the customizations, and um, I hope they fix these bugs in an upcoming release. But until then, I'm not really going to be able to use this ROM because battery life has kind of killed me. I had to play with Sim when I got home from school, and I get home from school about 2. And I had to plug this in. Sorcery. That's a notification, by the way. I think it's pretty cool. If I go to screen on time, an hour and 44 minutes. And I'm at 21% with 8 hours. That's that's bad and I haven't really used my phone a lot I mean in an hour on screen on, I mean I got about around four hours on AOKP I got around the same amount of time on CM10 I mean it just I'm, I'm not sure I'm really hoping they fix it though because I mean I just it's a really really good ROM I recommend trying it out. Maybe it will work differently on your phone than it does mine. Maybe it just hates my phone. I'm not sure. But I really recommend using like maybe version 2.0 instead of their 2.1. But I, I love the customizations in this ROM. But the amount of lag. Because 
I was trying to show my friend, like, hey, I theme my phone because he has an iPhone and he's always wanting to mess with my phone because of the customization, like how it, you know, just looks way better than his iPhone, which, grid, everywhere, grid. <laughs> and it kept lagging and it was like, I'm trying to impress him with my, you know, Android and it's lagging where his, his iPhone wasn't. And Jelly Bean is not supposed to do that. So that's why I'm going to try a different ROM, hoping they improve this. But until then, I can't really use it. Recommend an earlier build, like maybe version 2.0, 1.0, anything along those lines. But anyways, that was my review of the JB Sorcery version 2.1 ROM for the GSM Galaxy Nexus.